Here at the Eastwood Summer Classic, more than 500 enthusiasts from Eastern Pennsylvania and beyond have brought their beautiful collector cars, modified cars, hot rods, and customs here for just a great day of enjoying the automotive hobby and celebrating the five finalists that are going to be the Eastwood DIY legends. So much to see and do here, product demonstrations of many of the great Eastwood products and tools, the introduction of the DIY legends, there's a swap meet. My wife said, don't come home with another car, please. Uh, we're raising money through charities for a lot of great causes and just beautiful cars to see and people to meet. So let's look around. One of the great things about the Eastwood Summer Classic is there's no right and no wrong about the collector car hobby. Uh, you've got great ground pounders like this, 427 Shelby Cobra replica, beautifully, beautifully done, and I'll bet this thing's a real goer and a handler. Then come on over here to this Chevy sedan delivery from 1938. It's a rat rod, complete with a rat in the trap, a gas can air filter, and Fido here who has certainly marked his trail. Beautiful, 50, you can't go wrong with a 55 to 57 Chevy. These are just absolute blue chip collectibles. Uh, the one piece front bumper on this one, very, very sharp, nicely lowered, nicely presented. Something a little more modern, let's go to 1969 uh, when Plymouth finally embraced the idea of the Roadrunner because their budget supercar was such a hit that now they've got Roadrunner decals just all over, all over. Oh, gotta do this, here's a little beep beep horn. Hope the owner won't mind. Yep, exactly. Now, that's a Roadrunner. What else could that be? No, it's not a Volkswagen horn. That's a Roadrunner. Something for everybody at the Eastwood Summer Classic, no matter what your taste in cars is, I think you'll find it here. The owner describes this as a Jeep Wrangler. Maybe you'll recognize the grill, uh, maybe not. How about this Tudenport injected Chevrolet LS small block? But what I'm seeing here is a Mustang two-type rack and pinion and a short track stock car late model chassis. The roll cage is a little bit freelanced. Short track seat, digital dash, set of Willwood pedals, lots of switches and switch gear. Got the radiator back here over the rear end and some big remote reservoir shocks. I don't know where they're going with this, but they're going fast. In the mid-1950s, Plymouth had a horrible image problem. They were thought of as the school teachers or secretary's car, and chief stylist Virgil Exner sought to change all that with what he called the forward look, a big wide car uh, with the quad headlights and the biggest of big fins. Not quite as tall as on the 59 Cadillac, but very, very impressive, especially from the back with those big tri-corner taillights coming at you, you knew that you were looking at something brand new and unlike anything that had ever come out of Detroit before. This is just a wild example of style. And you know what? Almost 60 years later, it holds up very, very well. Very sharp, very distinctive. Could only be a late 50s Plymouth. This is Bruce and Brian Egan's 1958 Chevrolet Viking Heavy Duty. And this wrecker body has never been on any other truck. They ordered it for a Dodge truck and the Dodge never showed up. So a couple years later, they put this manly wrecker body onto this Chevrolet chassis. I mean, this thing's a real workhorse. It'll tow, it'll go. Happy hooker indeed.
Everybody goes mad for a Nomad, but here at the Eastwood Summer Classic is something I'll bet you haven't seen. The Chevy Nomad was that beautiful two-door wagon from 55, 6, and 7. But did you know that the Nomad name continued on as the top-of-the-line Impala four-door station wagon for 1958, 59, and 60? Very, very rare piece, and I'll bet most of your friends have never seen a four-door Nomad, but this is the real deal. This is a 59. This one's being treated to uh, a whole floor full of Eastwood's X-Mat heat and sound deadening insulation. Can I take this one home? A lot of cars, a lot of people, and a great time at the Eastwood Summer Classic. More than 500 beautiful dream rides have turned out here to the Pottstown Airport for this annual event. And it's been great seeing all the product demonstrations for the folks from Eastwood, meeting the finalists in the DIY Legends Contest, one of whom will be honored at the SEMA Show in November. And we sure look forward to doing this again next year.